It's September 9, 2020. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I am in Southwest Harbor, Maine. And what I'm going to do is hop aboard Tortuga here and go out and cruise around the harbor and shoot short video clips of all of the wooden boats that are currently in Southwest Harbor, Maine. And I'll tell you what I know about those boats, and uh, in some cases it isn't much, but I'll tell you what I do know. And uh, so that's the topic for today's video, wooden boats of Southwest Harbor, Maine. Now what I'm going to do is set the camera up facing out the starboard window in the main cabin house here on Tortuga, and take the boat out and stop with uh, each of the wooden boats on my starboard side and shoot the little bit of video. Bear in mind that uh, I'm shooting from a moving platform and uh, it's a little hard to keep the boat absolutely stationary. So things will move uh, during the little video clip. So I hope you'll accept that. Anyway, let's hop aboard and head out and take a look at some wooden boats. Okay, here's the first wooden boat we'll look at. This is, I believe, a 70s vintage sailboat built in down East Maine, I think Eastport. Uh, it's a very stout looking boat. I believe it's built to a Bud Macintosh design. And it's possible that Bud Macintosh himself built it, but getting hit by a wake. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the owner has suffered some health issues in the last year or two and has kind of let the maintenance go and she's looking pretty rough but it was very stout and in excellent condition until that happened well, let's move on this boat is a bunker and ellis lobster yacht built here in southwest harbor by bunker and ellis this boat has just been freshly restored this is the first year she's been in the water since a major restoration as you can see she looks absolutely beautiful This boat is a friendship sloop. It's named Old Baldy, and it has some history. Uh, the friendship sloops became popular uh, as recreational boats in the 70s when a boat builder named Jarvis Newman started building them in fiberglass. And this is the boat that Jarvis used to make the mold for his first 27-foot fiberglass friendship sloop. And the boat is now owned by Jarvis Newman's daughter, who also runs the Newman Yacht Brokerage. Jarvis is uh, quite old now and retired, but this boat, in a way, started the Jarvis Newman friendship sloop craze. This is another wooden friendship sloop. This one's named Peregrine, and uh, I will put the build information on it, which I will look up from the Friendship Sloop site, uh, onto the uh, image after uh, I get home. This boat is an International One design. About 15 of these boats were imported into Northeast Harbor in the 30s to set up a racing fleet. And now, almost 90 years later, the racing fleet is still active, and this is one boat in that fleet. This one's interesting uh, in that it's green on this side and the other side of the boat is orange. This is another wooden friendship sloop. Uh, off the top of my head I don't know how old it is or who built it. It's named Eden. I will look the information up and uh, put text on the video when I find out the details this afternoon. This is Hieronymus. A Ralph Stanley built friendship sloop built here in Southwest Harbor. I'll put the build year on the uh, video in text. And she is maintained in Bristol condition, uh, in part by Ralph Stanley's son, or Richard Stanley, and in part by the wooden boat crew at Ocean House uh, Boat Storage. So that pretty much finishes the boats that are out here in the harbor. There's one other friendship sloop named Endeavor, but it's over in a really shallow part of the harbor that I don't want to take Tortuga into right now.
This is Seven Bells. This is a 1964 vintage Beals Island lobster boat that was fished actively until just a couple of years ago when the current owner acquired the boat. Uh, he doesn't fish it anymore. He uses it as a tour boat to take people out from here at the marina in Southwest Harbor on two to three hour tours of the area. And during his tours, he demonstrates uh, hauling a lobster trap and uh, basically shows people the islands around here. And this is a, a very nice condition, 1964 lob, wooden lobster boat. This is the Alice E. This is a friendship sloop and uh, it is used for uh, day sails. In other words, it belongs to a company called Sail Acadia, and uh, they take people out three times a day for two-hour sails uh, every day. Now, they're not out right now because if we looked out the harbor, we would find that uh, it's completely socked in with fog out there, so they tend not to go when it's like that. Anyway, this boat is has an interesting history. Uh, you may not look like it, but it is a wooden boat. It's just maintained very, very well. It uh, is, I believe, the oldest friendship sloop still sailing on the main coast, and that it was built in 1899. And But like most older wooden boats, there's not a lot of the original boat left, but they've maintained the shape and uh, built it up. So this is an, a 19th century wooden friendship sloop. This boat is the Elizabeth T. It's an 80s vintage uh, wooden lobster boat. Uh, it's, although it still has its lobster gimbal there, it is not used as a commercial lobster boat anymore. It's used as a tour boat and they take groups of people out here in the Great Harbor of Mount Desert Island uh, for tours around the area and they have some lobster traps that they haul just to show people what's involved. And uh, this boat uh, also does water taxi work and there is an offshore island called Great Duck Island that has a summer house on it and the uh, Elizabeth T uh, will take people who want to stay in that summer house, it's a weekly rental, uh, out to the uh, island and put them ashore and then at the end of their week they'll come and pick them. Okay, here is the last wooden boat uh, that's currently operating out of Southwest Harbor. This is Tortuga and yes, this is my boat. It is a 32-foot raised deck cruiser. The raised foredeck is what gives it that name. It was built in Sausalito, California and was trucked out here just after 2000 by the previous owner that I acquired it from. And I bought it in 2007 and have done a little bit of work on it since then. As if you look at some of my other videos, uh, you'll find that. So anyway, that kind of wraps up the wooden boats that are currently operating here in Southwest Harbor. It's less than in a usual year, but uh, there's still a few, as you saw. Okay, before I end the video, I should say that there are a couple of other uh, nominal wooden boats out there in the harbor that uh, I didn't talk about. There is a schooner and there's also a lobster boat, but I left them out of my uh, wooden boats of Southwest Harbor because both of those boats have had their hulls fiberglassed. So, to the purest, they are no longer wooden boats. There's also at least one relatively new boat, which is, I guess, a wooden boat, but it also has a fiberglass hull, and that is a new cold molded runabout that's sitting right behind me, a couple boats up the dock, 
named Ringneck, and uh, it's cold molded, so it is made out of wood, but then it has fiberglass uh, inside and out, which makes it, uh, in my view, not a traditional wooden boat. I will be doing a video about different boat construction techniques, and we'll talk a little bit about cold molding uh, in that video. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me the old thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell. Thanks again for watching.